All right, 412-333-WXDX. That's how you get a hold of us here on the X Morning Show today to play Are You Smarter Than? Once again, 412-333-WXDX. I'll open the phone lines right now. The first caller in gets a signed autographed photo of Jessica Drake. It's a good one, too. And a copy of the new Playzom featuring our good friend Katie Russell, the cover model who has been in to do Are You Smarter Than? in the past. And she's actually here today coaching. Katie's going to join us in just a second to talk about the new play zone. Uh, she is, much like Jessica Drake, Bob, taking on the instructional role. Right. <laughs> I'll rephrase immediately. It's nothing like Jessica Drake, unless the rest of this hour goes really, really well. But um, she did bring in two girls for us to play Are You Smarter Than? They were part of the paranormal lockdown, Babes of the Berg, Marky and Mary... Ladies, thanks a lot for coming in. Marky, say hi. Hello. You have to sit close to the microphone. Oh, man. Hi, oh, guys. man. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? You don't like you. the way you sound? No, I feel like I might sound like a man or like a little kid. I'm not sure. No, you don't sound like a man. You okay. don't sound like a little kid. Okay. You don't look sure. like a man. You don't look like a little kid. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, wait, how, how old are you? 18. 18. And how old are those? <laughs> Uh, oh, weeks. welcome to the X Morning Show. Four weeks. <laughs> four weeks. They've settled in quite nicely. Aww. Happy birthday present, happy graduation present, or what? Uh, pay for them myself. Okay, how? With cash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> what do you mean, how? <laughs> what have you done in your life work-wise so that you could raise enough money by the age of 18? Makeup artist. Are you touching my boobs? Yep. <laughs> That wasn't me touching the booth. Yeah, that was, <laughs> it was, that was Mary. Was it was Mary. Mary. It was all me. It was all me. Your hands were really cold. Mary, how old are you? <laughs> how old do you think I am? 19. 23. Okay. 47. Okay, I'm not I feel like the mountain climber going up the thing on The Price is Right. <laughs> what I was going to get at is, if you had said 23, I would have said those look 23 as well. You no, know? I'm 29. You're 29, and yes. those are 29? Yes. I okay. grow these myself. Grow them yourself. Yes. All right. I wasn't Feel free to grab them. Yeah. You know what? I wasn't that lucky. <laughs> you are now. You to touch them and I'm still sitting way over here. So we're going to play Are You Smarter Than with the girls. And when we come... Well, actually, before we go to break, just explain to the listeners, Babes of the Berg, the Paranormal Lockdown Edition. Explain for people who don't know. Mary, go ahead. Okay. Um, it was a group of us girls. We were locked in Madison. And actually, if you could get a little closer. Seminary. Right? We were... Uh, Ghost hunting, basically. We did uh, like a flashlight session. We did different um, recordings, and we were locked in there pretty much overnight. We were there from about four in the afternoon. We didn't leave until maybe six or anything seven. Anything scary? Like anything out of the ordinary happen? Um, I'm not even. Other than you two scared. grabbing each other? Boo! What was that? The ghosts are like, yeah. dude, don't say boo tonight. <laughs> When you get scared, you gotta grab someone's boobs. That's right, that's right. He's gotta cuddle. You know. Now, you're just a kid, Marky. Were you nervous or no? Well, um, I thought I was gonna do really, really well, but then whenever I got in there, it was so scary. Like, like you freaked yourself out? Yeah, I did. And, like, you know what? Like, whenever we first took the tour, like, some of the people were, like, messing with us, just trying to, like, no. scare us. <laughs> and at one point, there was, like, they did something, and we all screamed, and then I ended up getting smacked in the boob. You hear screaming? <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, you hear yeah, screaming. Let me, get some, no, no, like let me get some music in the background. Listen. <laughs> like, you hear screaming, they're recording it, and all of a sudden, oh my god, my tit, or you punch me in the tit or something. Like, no, it was no, 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 no. Boob is okay. Boob is okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, boob, boob is, okay. is okay. Well, if that you got scared, I could, I could think of some place where you could bury your face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, tell you what, we're going to play the game when we come back, all right? So get ready, put your thinking caps on or your thinking brassiers or whatever it takes. We'll play the game when we come back. It's Well, actually, no, we won't do it when we come back because we have to find out about the Playzom article right. that we got mentioned. And there's pictures on the website, too, at WXDX.com if you're interested. But get in line right now to get yourself the uh, autographed Playzom and the autographed Jessica Drake photo. And if you win, you get the Rob Zombie and Megadeth DVDs. That's coming up. Are you smarter than here on a Friday? It's the X. One. It is the X Morning Show. Tim Benz, Bob McLaughlin with you on 105.9 The X. It is now time to play Are You Smarter Than? Are You Smarter Than the Girls of Babes of the Berg, the Paranormal Lockdown Edition. You've met them already. Marky and Mary here on The X. They are being opposed by, and we don't know how this happened, but one of our most infamous callers of all time has made his 
ill-advised, perhaps, triumphant return to the X Morning Show. It's Jeff the Window Washer guy. Uh, Jeff, are you actually going to try to play Are You Smarter Than? Sure. What? <laughs> Jeff, are you Why washing not? windows right now? Uh, actually, no. I'm talking to you, you yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Because you can't do both at the same time. That would be too <laughs> difficult. Exactly. All right, Jeff. Um, we are going to put money on the girls right now. Uh, I I'm going to bet that they win, but you can try to surprise us, all right? Hey, you, you, you might be surprised. Okay. All right, Jeff. You get question number one. Uh, first one to three wins. If the girls win, then everybody else in the audience gets to have an opportunity to win the tickets to see Rob Zombie and Megadeth at Stage AE on right, the 16th Right, and you have May. to leap off of your lift. Yes, yeah, okay? so you're playing for your own life, Jeff. If you lose, you have to plummet to your own demise. Lay it on me. Okay, you get question number one. <laughs> the Pirates just played the Washington Nationals. They're from Washington, D.C. What does D.C. stand for in Washington, D.C., Jeff? Go ahead, jump up and down. District of Columbia. That is correct, uh, Jeff. You worked in D.C. washing windows, didn't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> he thinks the I furthest know, Washington is Washington, PA. <laughs> Where are we kidding? All right, so you get it right, Jeff. You get one point. Now, ladies, there's a tradition here on Are You Smarter Than? You have to use a word that we find in a sentence. All right, It's a complicated vocabulary word. And we got this word from New Steelers Safety, Myron Roll, who actually used it in a sentence. He's a Rhodes Scholar at Oxford. All right, and now he's playing for the Steelers. When he gets done with football, he wants to be a philanthropic doctor. What does philanthropic mean? Use the word philanthropic in a sentence. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Mm. Not you, not Jeff. you, Jeff. Hold on. <laughs> oh my God, I'm for sure gonna lose. When you push your boobs up to your chin, does that somehow give you super thinking powers? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Right. yes. Um, I need to think of the sentence. Give it a shot. Um, Come on, hurry up. Uh, Doctors Without Borders would be an example of being philanthropic. That, that is, is correct. Excellent. That is actually right. And I think that's what he wants to be a part of, didn't he? Re he does. And that's actually better than the sentence I came up with. So <laughs> you may get a point and a half here. I, I was about to say, the breast augmentation that was done on Marky was clearly <laughs> done by a philanthropic doctor. She might have paid for them, but they were gifts for free to all of them us. Because they, now she's covering them. She's self-conscious about them. She's covering them. <laughs> all right, so we're tied at 1-1. One, one. All right, girls, you get the next question, okay? Okay. You have to follow up with this. And if uh, he steals and he's good, in good position to win, so you want to make and sure we'll all be right. amazed. Mm -hmm. I mentioned Oxford before. That's where Myron Roll was as a Rhodes Scholar. In what country is Oxford University? England. England is right. Mary. Oh, okay, Mary. <laughs> Stack off. She brought the brains to the party. I all right, did. so you are two for two. All right, now, okay. this is a question for Jeff. If Jeff gets it wrong and you steal, you win. If he gets it right, we go to a tiebreaker question, all right? So, Jeff, here we go. All right. A prisoner in Texas managed to get 40% of the Democratic vote in the West Virginia primary. In a fraction, what is 40%? In fraction form, what is 40%? Fraction form. That would be fraction with an R, Jeff. Fraction form. Fraction 40%. Yes. Mm, let's see. That'd be point 0.40. Yes. That would be decimal form. <laughs> That's decimal form. Yep, yep. So if you got, let's say for the sake of argument, 40% of the windows you washed actually got clean. What fraction of those windows would those would that be? Um, I need an four answer. Tenths. Four tenths. Four tenths. If you minimize that, what would four tenths be? Mm. Minimize four Come tenths. Come on, Jeff. Come on, Jeff. You're, You're almost right there. there. You're halfway home. Two fifths. Two fifths. <laughs> he got it. We had to pull it out of him like a squeegee out of the bucket. But he got it. All right, so Jeff, we're at the tiebreaker phase here. This is what it comes down to. You can either trust yourself to get the question right, or you can force the Babes of the Berg Paranormal Edition to answer the question. If they get it right, they win, and you lose out of the tickets. You get it right, you win. So choose your own fate, Jeff. What's it going to be? Let's see, do I want the question or do I want to give it to them? Um, hmm. She's too... What it's about? Politics. Politics. Lay it on them. Give Lay it, it on them. them. <laughs> All right. 
Great. Okay, great. girls, here it is. Great. The Democrats' mascot is a donkey. What's the Republican mascot? Bull. A bull? No! Oh, no, no, wait, no, elephant, elephant. Oh, elephant. oh sorry. Oh. But wait, that wait. wasn't final answer. Well... <laughs> It wasn't final answer. You seemed pretty convinced until she said elephant. That's illegal coaching. I'm sorry. Oh, I, didn't say elephant. Elephant. I knew the answer. She didn't say elephant. Did we say that she could coach much, much like Jessica Drake, though? Oh, well. Remember at the beginning? I see your own stipulations. There. I feel guilty. Okay. I think, I think Even though Jeff she is would... part of the plays on team. In your, For the record, you knew what it was, but on the sake of a technicality, Jeff gets the tickets. Oh, so Jeff, no. congratulations. You're going to see Rob Zombie and Megadeth at stage AE. Way to go. Um, try as we might have to screw you up with that fraction question. You somehow pulled through. You actually so. got it. We're kind of impressed. There you go, see? All right, stick around, Jeff. And if you enjoy the concert, you win the meet and greet. By extension, you have to wash all of the gold windows in our building, okay? <laughs> That's part of the deal. All right, excellent. We want to see the parkway better. Sit tight for one second. I need some more information from you, all right? Okay. All right, that is Jeff the Window Washer, who somehow won Are You Smarter Than. Unbelievable. Th that's like, you were that close. That's what no, it was. You were that close. One of the best efforts answer. we've ever had from our girls here in studio. I'm very impressed. You did say it pretty convincingly, though. Yes. I didn't say finally. <laughs> well, this isn't that game. <laughs> it should be. How about that? <laughs> All right, that's how you play Are You Smarter Than? We have our final contestant. We're going to draw the winner for the uh, meet and greet a little bit later on after Whip Show. So stick around. We'll see if it's you. For Rob Zombie's sake, I hope it's not Jeff. It's the X.